Hello everyone, welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are looking into where is this connection headed? So what's to come with this connection you're currently in or thinking about? We're going to draw a card together for each group so you can use your intuition and see which reading is best for you. Spirit, where is this connection headed for group number one? We have the three of coins. Where is this connection headed for group number two? And the knight of swords. Here, oh, okay cards. We have the six of wands. It came out in reverse. We're going to grab another one and put it on top of this. And we have the five of swords. So this one came out before I really asked. So that's why I'm picking two for group number three. Let us zoom in a bit so you guys can take a look. Oh, Emmy just came out to join us. Hi, Emmy. So here are our three groups. Use your intuition and see which card is calling to you. Pause the video if you need more time. There will be timestamps and chapters down below, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome, group number one, to your reading. So right when I pressed record, there is a loud thunder, so you may hear that in the background. Um, but you guys chose the three of coins. Where is this connection headed? So this card does indicate teamwork, working well together, moving forward, progressing, but we're going to see what other cards come up and see how this fits in. Thank you so much for being here, group number one. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. I'm trying to decide do I want to start with tarot or get some Lenormand here first. Let's do tarot. Do tarot and for being here. Spirit, where is this connection headed for group number one? Where is this connection headed for group number one? Where is this connection headed for group number one? Where is this connection headed for group number one? All these threes coming out. Hmm. Where is this connection headed for group number one? So for some of you, there could have been, or it could be in the spot, maybe feeling heartbreak or upset the lovers reverses on the bottom here. Maybe there has been some sort of separation, some breakup, maybe even a third party situation with all these threes here that is um, possible. But I see with the strength card here, there is a possibility to work through this to overcome the challenges that um, may have happened here with this connection uh, through teamwork, through both putting in the effort here. Uh, someone may be a little cold right now, not showing a lot of affection, being a little bit distant. And uh, it could be because of pain, but there is this possibility to work through it, but teamwork effort is, is needed. Mm -hmm. Seems to be like different choices need to be made. There's some sort of separation. If that is true, you'll, um, no, this is your reading here. So for astrology signs, um, I just split the deck and I see the Ace of Cups. I feel, oh, I feel like there really is a um, 
possibility for renewal of love here. But uh, what was I saying? So for zodiac signs, we see Leo. And we also have ear energy coming through this Queen of Swords. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Spirit, can you tell me more about where is this connection headed? Knight of Swords. So we have another Swords court card in reverse. Yeah, there could have been some words exchange, some some sharp words, a fight, argument. Someone's closed off emotionally. We have the Empress here. Here, can you tell me more? Four of Wands reversed on the back. Hmm. Yeah, I really see this person being pretty emotionally closed off right now. They might not know what they want. They could be really juggling a lot. Finances could be um, an issue here. With the Empress energy, I see that, that this is how they look at you. They see you as someone beautiful, handsome, um, amazing. I feel like they think you deserve better, like you deserve um, to be treated better. And I feel like they might be in a spot where maybe they don't have the finances right now to treat you the way you want. And they could be ashamed of that and closed off emotionally because they feel like they can't provide. Especially with this three of coins coming out here. Mm -hmm. They could be juggling another relationship as well um, for some people here. You know, we have the three of swords, which can talk about like third party situations, other people, and then two of pentacles in reverse, like juggling a lot. But this could also be juggling a lot with finances and responsibilities here. But I really do see this person as emotionally closed off. And the way for this to progress forward is to to address this, overcome fears and, and, and address emotions. And by putting in the effort, there's definitely, um, with this Empress here, a lot of fertile energy. There's a lot of creative energy. This, there's a lot of potential for this to move forward. But yeah, it's going to take effort by all, by both parties in addressing emotions and not being closed off here. Spirit, can you tell me more? Oops, I'm doing this wrong way. Let's get a few Lenormand, then we have some Oracle cards. Spirit, where is this connection headed? We have Fox. We do have Heart, okay. Clouds, let's come on. Yeah, um, sorry. Placing these on top of other cards makes it harder to move. <laughs> so we can see this person's heart is currently closed off with the clouds coming right after the heart card. The dark side of the clouds is facing that, which means it's closed off. But the thing is, with clouds, it is temporary. But with the birds here, this is like a coupling and this is socially, but it's mostly in a platonic way. This person may want to move forward more um, as friends at this time. I feel like they're emotionally closed off and guarded. With this fox energy here too, I feel like they might just, you know, they really enjoy you. They think you're beautiful, attractive, handsome, you know, you have a good time. But something here seems like they are a little closed off. And they do want to spend time with you, though. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more cards to expand on this. Spirit, can you give us more information here, please, on this person and what they're wanting and where this is going? They might be, yeah, I feel like they're a little sneaky behind your back, maybe um, a little closed off. Yeah. 
Wow. I said closed off and then guarded came up. This person's very guarded. This is what we've been saying, emotionally guarded. They have their walls up. They're not they're not open to love at this time. Maybe they've been really hurt in the past. This three of swords could be this their energy, like that they've just been really hurt or cheated on or whatever in the past, and they really have their guards up. Mm -hmm. Spirit, tell me more. Commitment. Have they been divorced or in a bad marriage before? Hmm, let's see. We have hope in reverse. Yeah, I feel like there is some hope for commitment in the future, but again, there's a lot of healing and a lot uh, to do with like opening up and being vulnerable that I feel like this will move really slowly. Especially with the Knight of Swords in reverse here, because the Knight of Swords upright is like the fastest knight, like that's moving really quickly. So I feel like there is something here with taking um, taking time, having to work through all of that, and there is hope for commitment here. But I feel like right now, um, it's definitely more of a focus on fun. You know, I feel like this person likes going on dates with you, likes hanging out with you, likes having fun with you. But at this time, they're a little guarded and they're not truly um, ready for commitments, but there is hope for it in the future. And there definitely is a spark here between you guys. There's definitely chemistry, there's a spark, there's attraction. So it's really up to you oh, with this, um, this fell out for a reason with the strength card, um, whether you're going to want to, you know, put in this effort and time and dedication. It's like, in a way, I feel like it's like you taming the beast, <laughs> but then spirits like, you know, it was 10, 10 on the clock when I said that, that could mean something to some of you. Oh, and 10 is highlighted, guarded, that's card number 10. But let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This car flipped over for a reason. I know it, you might feel a lot of spark, a lot of connection with this person, but I feel like it needs to go at a natural pace and, and not be controlled. Like, you know, because there definitely is something here taking some time to for this person to let you in, to, you know, to open their heart up. And you might be like, I feel so much for, towards this person. I want this to work. I'm ready for this to work, you know. Um, and spirits wants you to let it unfold naturally and run its course. Um, and if that doesn't feel right to you, then maybe it's time to let it go. Um, if you're wanting something different and don't want to wait. Spirit, can you tell me more, please? Where is this connection headed? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. There could be something here of maybe like growing up with shame or the family or just having different cultural differences here. Or maybe you're also being called to come back to your spirituality too with this control and also spiritually like spiritual path is a and religious you know is a way of healing and letting go your guards and, and I feel like there's definitely some spiritual emotional healing that is necessary for this to unfold you know that makes sense two cards came out release your ex the time has come to clear your energy Okay, this could be their energy as well, you know, that they're still healing from an X situation, which makes sense because we have them being so guarded and we have the Three of Swords just talks about heartbreak and, you know, most of this is their energy, but your energy as well we're picking up on. So they still need to heal from the past here. And this could also be a message for you. Children, your love life is affected from, is affected by children. Okay, so this person can have kids or you can have kids, but I'm also seeing this could have to do with some inner child healing as well. Um, stuff that happened as a kid, maybe um, not having very um, like emotionally available parents and now they're closed off and have a hard time 
um, speaking their emotions and in, in, in showing love because maybe they didn't grow up with that because their family was maybe more conservative or religious or whatever. Um, that could definitely be something here. Um, also, there could be a message too for maybe some of you. You guys want kids and you want this to really work out and you're ready to move forward, but the Spirit's like, it's time to, you know, not to have so much control over the situation to let it play out naturally. What's meant to be will be for you or better, you know, like so if this isn't working out in the way you want it, there's something better and also, you know, release control. I know, like, if you're around my age, maybe this could be something you're thinking of. Maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, but I know, um, for women, as we get older, like, we want, we, we really want a family, you know, and we're, we want to move faster because of that, um, and Spirit's wanting us to really let go of, you know, control here. Um, we did have Taurus and Libra energy come up, again, and more air energy. But yeah, uh, it really seems like there is potential for this connection to move forward, but it's got to move slow and there's got to be some healing along the way. And a lot of times we heal through relationships. So Spirit's like, you know, I know you're, it really seems like you're feeling a lot of spark and a lot of like, you know, potential with this relationship, but allowing it to unfold naturally to, to you know, run its course, like not to force anything to let go of control and just to have fun and enjoy the time you're spending together and not have any expectations um, and be open to possibilities and open to what the future holds, like let it unfold naturally. That There is hope for commitment in the future, but yeah, this is definitely something that's going to take some time and effort on both sides and you know, this person to let their guard down could take some time and you don't want to force it because they could really be, maybe they just um, got out of a relationship where they're still really healing from that. And it doesn't mean they don't like you and they don't want you and all of that. It just means they have some more healing and stuff to go um, before they can fully commit and be, you know, the best for you. Anything else, Spirit? Where is this connection headed? Temporary situation. Oops, that's kind of a lot, but we'll take it. Trouble, accusations, a new job, career, and then meeting with a stranger could be important. Okay. For some of you, I feel like This could be a temporary connection and you could be meeting someone new that you move on from. This person could, there could be some issues with maybe gaslighting, like especially, you know, if you try and control a situation and try and force them to open up sooner than, you know, than they're ready. There could be a little, there could be some trouble there. Some anger could come out. And also, yeah, maybe they were cheated on in the past and they might like, not be healed from that and they could be accusing you of things even if you didn't do that so this person you know i feel like some of you guys might realize you know this person has a lot of healing to still do um and you might meet someone else before they're healed in this you know and this will just be a temporary situation ship whatever this is this connection you could be meeting someone through a new job or career um but I'm also seeing this as like new relationship because that's what we're talking about here today. So yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, there is potential here, but I feel like um, there it might take a lot of time and you're going to meet someone else in the meantime that could really lead to something uh, great here for you. Let's get at least one or two from the other half of the deck. Protection from a powerful friend. Beware of great pride. You know, this person might be really putting on a show for you and like, you know, how the male peacocks show their feathers and like do dances or whatever the birds do to get the female's attention. Um, if I'm saying different genders, just take how it resonates to your situation. Just so you know, it is a general reading, but this person might be really showing off and seeming um, really great right now. But as we've seen from this reading, they do definitely have some healing and some heartbreak and stuff they need to um, move on from. So 
I know it could be hurtful to be like, or be like, is this even resonating? This person doesn't seem guarded and whatever, but I feel like they're kind of putting on a show to impress you and they're not showing you their, um, their hurt side right now. Cause again, they're very guarded. Um, and I feel like they have a good reason to do and like, you know, it's their life, but I feel like you might be really protected here too. Like someone new is going to come in your life and you might be protected from maybe a tough situation with this person. Um, especially if they're not healed and maybe they, they have jealousy issues, uh, could definitely be something here. So I really do feel like, yeah, there is a potential with this, but I feel like someone else is coming in that will be more aligned with you and what you want by the time this person is vulnerable and ready or, you know, ready to open up and commit to a relationship. Now let's wrap up your reading, getting an angel number and angel message. Any final message you have for group number one spirit? Wow. All these twos. Two is a number of partnership. Okay. Two, 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 two. Feminine forces, relationships, balance, prosperity, efficiency, patience, humility. You can do everything by yourself, but life is to be shared. Partner up with the right spirit and you'll become a force. Honor commitment and people around. Don't judge. Listen. Yeah, I feel like Spirit wants you to um, not judge this person and where they're at because I feel like you might be a lot more healed. Um, I feel like you're more on the spiritual path and have done more healing and you're more ready for a relationship, a lot of you. Um, and maybe this person's not on the same page and they still have healing to do and, and, that, and Spirit's calling you not to judge. And also listen to your intuition. Know what's right because I feel like there's someone else being presented to you that is going to be more aligned with you. And I know we can be really impatient. We want this person. We want it to work out. We're feeling the spark. We're feeling it, you know, and Spirit's calling you to be, um, be patient here and know that you will be partnered up with the right spirit. And together you'll be a force, like it says, <laughs> um, honor commitments and people around. Yeah, this person might not be ready for commitments. And I feel like that is what a lot of you want. And just be open to possibilities here. Don't judge where other people are at because I feel like you have, you've healed a lot and you've come a long way on your journey. And maybe this person just isn't in the same spot as you. And that's okay. Um, so this might, yeah, there's potential, but it looks like it may be temporary because someone else will be coming in. Mm -hmm. So that concludes your reading group number one. I hope this resonated and I hope it gave you the insight, the guidance you needed at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, um, I am available. My website's down below and I do have a code for my YouTube friends to save 11% on your first reading. So that will all be down in the description box. KittyRising.com is my website. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I love you guys so much. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next video. Bye, group number one. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. So where is this connection headed? You chose the Knight of Swords. So a few things we're getting right away. Um, this could be an air sign or you could be air sign or have a lot of air in your chart or their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But what's really sticking out to me is um, you can look at knights as rates of movement and the knight of swords is the fastest moving knight. So things could really be moving forward quickly, but we're going to, of course, get a lot more cards out to confirm that energy and see how that is working out for you guys in this connection. But I feel like a fast pace <laughs> is coming here. So we'll see if that's a good thing, bad thing. What else wants to come through? Thank you so much for being here, group number two. Thank you to your guides, to my guides, for assisting with the reading today. Spirit, what's going on? Where is this connection headed for group number two? Where is this connection headed? Where is this connection headed for group number two? Nine of Swords. Where is this connection headed for group number two? Where is this connection headed for group number two? 
Where is this connection headed for group number two? Alright, I'm gonna get more cards out and I'll piece this all together for you. Where is this connection headed for group number two? bottom we have the nine of wands in reverse here so there's two cards here we have the ace of swords but then we have this queen of cups right above it so i can see i feel like either one of you or both of you is really in your head right now about this connection like do they like me they didn't call me what's going on with them i need to know what's going on <laughs> um and that might be stopping you from seeing like what's going on in this connection i feel like it's just really getting to your head maybe you're literally even losing sleep about this person thinking about them all the time i feel like you will be that all of those negative thoughts and feelings and fears will be lifted here with this eight of swords in reverse i feel like there definitely is this a great potential here for a new emotional beginning we have the page of cups and then we have the two of cups and we also have the king and the queen of wands here um the queen of wands is in reverse so i feel like there's something here with maybe not being on the same exact page at this moment or one of you being less confident than the other in terms of this connection and i do feel like for some of you this could be you but it could be the other person as well um just doubting it worrying about it not knowing what they think and just being really in your head um and just like if they don't talk to you for a day or two, like just thinking like, oh, they don't like me. This is done, you know, um, and, and I feel like <laughs> this person does like you and does, you know, um, they could be more of like a, a fire energy here. Um, they don't have to be, but like this king of wands energy is really making me think of this other person's energy. So they could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like they're more of a masculine, but again, they don't have to be, but I feel like spirit is some advice for you today to group number two is to let go of limiting beliefs and fears surrounding this relationship let go of control issues because this person does um does like you and there is a lot of potential here for this to be a partnership we have the two of cups up right here but there it's just like maybe you're in your head and worried about it and not feeling very confident about it or in spirit saying um you know to have more confidence in yourself and in this connection and not to have such control issues of, over whether or not this will work out because there is a lot of potential here for this to move forward, for this to turn into a committed relationship. And you don't want your limiting beliefs or fears to um, block this from happening. And when you're feeling emotionally well and like happy about this relationship and just feeling good about yourself in general as well then there is yeah there's a lot of potential here for this to really turn into a beautiful emotional connection and partnership here so yeah we have the fire energy we talked about we also have um some water energy coming through as well so cancer uh scorpio pisces mm -hmm. and yeah, there might be this tendency to want to rush and feel it and i feel like this person might just want to take it slow like you know there's a lot of potential for growth here with the page and then the queen like moving that way like um but with the seven of pentacles in reverse it's like being impatient and not not seeing you know not seeing what you want or not getting as much attention as you want or not having that relationship status instantly spirit is kind of calling you to like just take a breath here and let go of any control issues here and to have fun and to be confident about this because there it this person does um, think highly of you you know and the more chill you are about it and like more comfortable in your own skin and everything like that not controlling that is when this is really going to turn into a, a partnership here two cups and i feel like you will be over, able to let go of these learning beliefs and these fears about it I feel like they're going to reach out to you soon, offer you, like, they're going to ask you out on a date soon and you're going to start to feel better about it. But 
really getting into that energy now, not feeling defeated if you don't get a text back instantly or don't hear from them instantly. I feel like they definitely have their eye on you and they're very interested in you, but I feel like this might be a person that has a lot of passions, is really into their work and other things. So it's not like they're ignoring you or putting you on the side. It's just, I feel like it's more in your head than anything. And believe me, we've all been there. <laughs> so Spirit's like just bringing that to your attention right now. Because, yeah, there's a lot of potential and growth here, partnership here. And I feel like the only thing that could be blocking this is maybe limiting beliefs and, and fears and maybe speaking out too quickly or irrationally when you're feeling upset about something or not feeling like you're getting the attention you want or something like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Got the counterparts and the two of cups here. This is, it's looking good. I feel like this is more guidance coming through from spirit. Um, but it looks like things are, yeah, are headed in the right direction. Let's get some Lenormand now and then we have some Oracle cards. Spirit, can you tell me more about this? Where is this connection headed for group number two? We have the anchor. This is something stable, long-lasting, secure. And we have the cross, which can talk about the inevitable. <laughs> um, but also it can talk about some like trials and tribulations and things you need to work through. And with the key coming right after it, you're working through any of the issues. And I feel like what you're working through could be these doubts and limiting beliefs and fears. Um, but the cage is being opened. That this is a breakthrough. Hmm. Okay, that's a good one. And then we have card number 13, which is a child. But this also talks about um, new beginnings. And look at this like rainbow. It's like I'm seeing this as like dreams come true kind of energy. So there is some sort of energy here, like, you know, this could be fateful, like some. And with this cage opening up and then there's a flower in there, it's like opening up your heart to this person or they're opening up to you. And there really is a lot of um, strong energy here for a, a beautiful beginning here. Maybe even children or maybe you, you have children or they have children that is affecting your relationship. Look, we have the clover on the bottom of the deck. This talks about luck, opportunities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Things happening quickly and soon that can talk about as well. Yeah, this could really lead to a long-term stable relationship here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're ever feeling like really anxious or anything like that or worried about that, I feel like leaning into your faith, leaning into your spiritual practice to, to really ease your mind and to, you know, have faith that everything will work out for you, whether it's this or something better, you know, just knowing that, you know, God, wh whatever you believe in has perfect plan for you. And this is a new opportunity for something new that could be long lasting here, something very stable. Can you tell me more about where this connection is headed for group number two? Where is this connection headed? We have balance here with the yin yang, which is like the balance between feminine and masculine forces here. We have control that came out in reverse. I really do feel like spirit wants you to let go of control. Let go of worrying about the outcome and to enjoy this time, you know, this new beginning, not not feeling like you have to rush it or or force things to move ahead, you know. Maybe there's something here with wanting to rush and for, because you want kids and you're worried about that. Um but just not, yeah, letting go of control over the outcome and enjoying the process and letting things unfold naturally. 
Because, yeah, that's not, I feel like there is this tendency to want to rush in because, you know, you feel this spark, you feel this connection. And there is a lot of potential here for this to, you know, for this to be a solid, long-lasting partnership. So why? You don't need to rush it. Uh, spy. Maybe there's some energy here, like looking at social media all the time, seeing what they're doing all the time. And again, I, I, I'm picking this up as a lot of this being your energy, but for some of you, this could be the other person's energy too. But this is also has to do with this control thing, like not letting them do their thing and not wonder, like if they don't text right away, not being on their page, like who are they? What are they liking? What's their Snapchat score? You know, whatever. <laughs> um, letting go of that control it will bring a lot more balance and connection and, and it'll be more attractive to this person as well. They want you to trust them. The trust came out in reverse. There might be something here with really healing from trust issues from past relationships. But if you want this connection to work, trust is needed. Letting go of control is needed. Finding more balance here. And that is when this connection is going to really be solid and long lasting here. Developing trust and letting go of that control. Not spying. Yeah, trust is really important. And really, I think that cross came out before to lean into your spiritual practice and your healing if you feel like you do have these trust issues because um, you don't want that to interfere with a potentially really great partnership here. Spirit, tell me more about where this connection is headed. Heart to heart conversations. I, I, wait, I was saying I honestly, like it was affirmation, but honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, that's another good way um, to not keep, you know, have everything going on in your head. Telling them how you feel, opening up emotionally. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yes. And if you feel that way, maybe you haven't been telling them and they just don't even know that and letting them know how you feel could really help this take off and go to the next level for you. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Hmm. What is that about? Okay, so you, there's this message coming through that for some of you, you haven't heard from this person, and maybe that's why you're in your head about it, or, you know, there's been some sort of separation, and you haven't heard from them recently. But then we have, I was asking Spirit what this is about, and very soon came out. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like there's something here with telling this person, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about your feelings, and then things can really happen. But I feel like if you haven't heard from this person, you feel like there's been a separation, you will hear from them very soon. But there's also some guidance and advice coming from Spirit to have a heart to heart conversation. But you also could be hearing from them very soon about their feelings. But Spirit wants you to be very honest and very clear with what you want. If you want love, you want relationships, you want to be official, don't just act or like say that you just want to have fun or you don't, you're not, you know, be honest about what you want from them. And then, you know, because they're, I feel like they definitely feel something towards you too. And the more honest you are, the more, more vulnerable, more open you are about what you want truly, then that is when this can go to the next level for you guys. Honestly discuss your feelings. Clearly decide what you want and be honest about it. But yeah, also, if you haven't heard from them, there's been some sort of separation you will be hearing very soon. So yeah, there's a lot of... Um, potential for this to turn into a legitimate relationship here. I feel like that's very clear. We have like the counterparts here, the two of cups, the page of cups here, but there is that advice coming through from the spirits, let go of control and to be honest about how you feel and to be patient and to, yeah, to really let your feelings be known, but yeah, not to be overly controlling, to have trust. And if you feel like you have some issues with trust, maybe journal about it, just lean into your spiritual practice um, that'll help build up your confidence and really help this turn into a beautiful relationship.
All right, let's um, wrap up your reading with an angel number and angel message. Spirit, what final messages do you have for group number two? What? What messages do you have? What final messages do you have for group number two? 9999, nine, nine, nine. lessons learned. Culmination, results, benefits, reflection, completion. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to, remain, to maintain optimism and drive towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it and the reward goes to you. Okay, Spirit wants you to really remain optimistic here. And also, you know, with the reflection and all that, like to really think about why you may not have total trust issues or why you may be anxious about certain things or whatever it is. But remain positive and optimistic because I feel like there's something here with like a lot of this person thinks highly of you, but you don't seem to be very confident about it for whatever reason. Um, and also you've learned so much. You've grown so much. You are a catch. You are worthy. You are enough. So don't doubt yourself or think that you're not worthy of this. That could be something that's in the back of your mind or subconscious. You are worthy. You are enough. Mm-hmm. You are. So yeah, group number two. I hope um, this reading resonated and I hope the guidance that came through will help make this even better because it does look like this, you know, this is pretty positive. It's just there's like a little bit of inner growth and reflection um, to be had. Just, you know, I feel like through relationships, we learn so much. So this is a learning opportunity and also a way for you to grow into this relationship, future relationships, all relationships, including the relationship with yourself. So yeah, that concludes your reading. I hope this resonated. I hope you got the guidance, the messages, the insight you needed at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I do have a code for my YouTube friends to save 11% on your first reading. It's code ABUNDANCE in all caps. I will leave that down in the description in case you want to check it out or share that with someone else you think will benefit. Thank you so much for being here. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so much. I wish you all the best, group number two, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome, group number three, to your reading. Where is this connection headed? So we had two cards come out for you. The six of wands in reverse and the five of swords. So I get this energy, maybe currently you're not getting the recognition or attention from this person. Maybe there was a fight or some harsh words exchanged. Or this could be even just negative thoughts, thinking like this will never work out. We're going to see how this fits in, but it's the energy we're picking up on so far. So thank you so much for being here, group number three. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. Spirit, where is this connection headed? Where is this connection headed for group number three? We have the fool in reverse. Where is this connection headed for group number three? Cups, King of Swords, in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. Look at all these people cards, uh, court cards. Okay, let's get all the cards out and then we'll talk about it. Card cards. Okay. Eight of Cups in reverse on the bottom. Hmm. Oh. 
All right, so I'm picking up on multiple people's energy. I wonder if this person's still in some sort of emotional connection with someone else they aren't fully out of. Okay, but so we have a lot of um, energies coming through. We have some Aries energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries. <laughs> I'm about to list all of them. All of the signs are coming through right now, but... um. Yeah, and then we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, more Capricorn energy coming through. That's double that. So yeah, we're, we're getting all different, all the signs here. So sorry, I know that's annoying when you just list all the signs, but <laughs> um, so some that we're seeing double are the water signs, Aries and Capricorn. We're seeing double of, so those are of significance here. So this person might just only be available for like no strings attached type fun at this time. Uh, they might be really focused on their work, their career, their possessions. Um, Cause maybe they don't even have a lot of that right now. Maybe they're feeling like they need to focus on that and they're only wanting fun with this devil energy upright here and the fool in reverse, and then the page of cups and the page of wands in reverse. This, like The pages can represent new beginnings, and so could the fool, and they're all in reverse here. Mm -hmm. They might not, yeah, I feel like they're being a little cold right now, not emotionally available. In old times, there's like Laurel and staff, I don't know if that's the right terms for these, but they would go around with this to let them know that they are available for sex that night. This was like back in the day, how they let other people know they were available. Um, so yeah, I feel like that at this time, this person's wanting more of a no strings attached, just fun, no commitment type energy right now. I don't think they're ready for a family or something long term with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they're not emotionally available right now for some reason. There does seem to be multiple people's energy here. Um, they could have kids with someone else. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You know, this is a general reading. I'm picking up on multiple energies here. I see you as like the Queen of Cups and them as the Queen of Swords reverse. Kind of like you're, you... You want this person, you want to be emotionally available and in together with this person, but I feel like they might be a little closed off right now. Not emotionally open to seeming yeah, cold and not always communicating very well. I'm going to get more cards out, but yeah, I feel like this person is wanting just uh, no strings attached type thing. And if that's what you want too, if you're okay with that, of course, that's fine. But I feel like just know that there's other people in this person's energy. I, um, They seem to want, you know, be focused on more of one thing right now. I feel like they need to emotionally heal in some sort of way before they're ready for a new relationship. But they're not looking to jump into something new right now. They're looking to have fun, yeah. Okay, let's get some more cards. Let's get the Lenormand out to get some more messages here. Spirit, can you tell me more about where this connection is heading? Where is this connection headed? Yeah, this person's heart might be more into their work right now, but I feel like they're not a bad per- Okay, like, you know, sometimes you can be like, oh, it, it seems like they're a bad person or something because they want sex or they want whatever. Um, I don't see it that way. They definitely have more of a masculine energy, but again, doesn't mean they have to be a male. Um, the birds is about, like, platonic couples here, but we do have the the heart here. 
but I feel like with the the moon coming out first, this is about like career satisfaction, ambitions, and I feel like they might really be focused on their career and their finances and their hearts just really more into their work right now. And I feel like they do think really fondly of you. Um, but they more want to be like, you know, they're, they'll go on dates with you and hang out with you and they like spending time with you. But I feel like it, they're not going to rush into a committed relationship here. We do have the heart here, mm -hmm. but in the birds, there's multiple people here. This is like more than just one couple. I feel like, yeah, they like dating you. They like seeing you, but just know they, they're they likely dating other people at the same time because they're not ready for a committed relationship or they're not looking to rush into one at least at this time. Spirit, tell me more about this. Where is this connection headed? Self-worth. I think that's more guidance. I have family in reverse. Yeah, they could have kids with someone else and that could be something or they don't want a family and maybe there's just something here about you guys wanting different things for the future. And Spirit like doesn't want you to settle, you know, um, if you are wanting to be treated different, you want exclusive exclusivity or, you know, to be in a committed relationship, um, you know, then that's what you should do. You shouldn't settle for less or feel less than because you are worthy of your desires. You're worthy of the love, the attention, the relationship that you want. And if someone's not aligned with you in that, that's, that's fine. They're, you know, I know it can be hard. You're like, you know, like, oh, I don't want to keep dating and going after more people but there is someone out there for you. You have these desires for a reason and you are worthy of your desires being met. And yeah, you guys definitely do have a spark. There's definitely chemistry between you guys. We have um, balance coming out in reverse. Yeah. I feel like this person this isn't um, able to give to you in the way you want like there might be too much fun to not enough of the love or not enough attention i don't know whatever it is there's something out of balance here science can talk about feminine and masculine um energies here so they could be more in their masculine especially because it came in over the man card and they're just all about their work their money they're doing their action right now and they're not really emotionally they're not in that feminine emotional energy at all right now but there's definitely you know they think you're hot there's a spark there for sure Spirit, please tell me more about this connection. Where is it headed? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, I feel like this is um, guidance to forgiving and learning and, and really developing self-love and forgiving your, yourself, releasing the past, releasing expectations, releasing control. You know, we really do learn through relationships as humans. So you could be really learning more about yourself and what you want and more about your self-worth through this connection. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Yeah, Spirit wants you to know, like, okay, are you okay with um, just having fun with this person? Or like... Do you want that committed relationship now? Be honest with what you want, and that is when it will come into your life. Spirit, God, the universe is trying to bless you with what you want, but sometimes we give mixed signals because, you know, we feel the spark with this person. We're like, hope they'll change. Spirit wants you to um, let go and not expect anyone to change and to be honest with yourself about what you want, and that is how you will get it. Be honest with yourself. You can even be honest with this person. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Wow. Mm -hmm. On the bottom, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like you're really being called like to step into this energy, to do this healing work, to free yourself of control, 
free yourself of expectations, to free yourself of a false narrative maybe you have. Um, like we have calling in your soulmate. I feel like you're, you know, you really do want something specific, but maybe you haven't been honest with yourself or with the people you're involved with. And Spirit's calling you to really be honest with that so then your soulmate can come in. Someone that is ready for that. Someone who's on the same page as you. Someone who wants commitments. Because, you know, I don't think this person we're talking about here today is a bad person or anything like that. I just don't think they're ready to jump all in right now. Or maybe they don't have the same intentions as you with this devil energy here. Spirit, can you tell me more? about where this connection is headed for group number three. Okay. Doing something risky, taking a chance. News is on the way. Good news is on the way, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Let's get the other half of the deck. Doing something risky. I feel like this is speaking your truth. Letting this person, letting the universe know what it is you truly want. And then you're going to get it. I feel like there's definitely this like side message, like advice and guidance from your spirit team here today. Being honest about what you want. Truly honest and speaking that. Taking a chance, telling, you know, this other person what you want. Even if you don't know, you don't think it's what they want too. Like just being honest with yourself is when you're going to get this soulmate coming in. The love you want. The relationship you want. The universe is trying to bless you with your soulmate, with, with love. Forces working against you. Yeah, and I feel like this current relationship isn't, or connection, isn't getting you to where you want to be. Um, and I don't, this isn't like super negative. It's just like, why put your time and energy, your body, your soul, like towards a person that's not wanting the same things as you? Um... It's preventing you from being closer to what you want, closer to your soulmate, closer to love, closer to the family, whatever it is you're wanting. So it's time to be really clear, let go of people in your life that aren't on the same page as you. And you might be feeling sometimes in your body sad and sick, and it's because you're not living in alignment or you're, you're not in the relationship that is healthy for you. You know, you might think you can, you might be like, oh, it's fine. I could just have fun. But your body is like tightening up, getting sick, not feeling good. You're feeling unhappy. And it's your body telling you that, that, you know, maybe that's okay for other people. Are you like, it has been in the past, but this isn't right for you now. And your body speaks to you that way. You might feel not great around this person and you don't know why. And it's because you're not, you're meant to be with someone else something better, someone better that is aligned with you. And you might be sticking with this situation, this connection for longer than needed because you're hoping it'll change. You're hoping it'll work out. And you do have spark with this person. They're not a bad person, but your body is trying to tell you that it's time to move on and be honest with yourself and cut things out that aren't making you feel good. And that is when you're going to hear, you're going to, you know, when you take this chance, be honest, then you're going to, you're going to meet someone, good fortunes coming your way. You have good news, good fortune, success assured with good plans and hard work. So you will meet someone, you know, listen to your body. You are, your, our bodies are so intelligent. Sometimes we can be in our head too much. Um, but yeah, if you're feeling ill or sick or, or anxious or depressed around certain people, it's a sign that it's not in alignment. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we're going to get one more card, angel number and angel message to wrap this up. But it seems like, yeah, this person's not a bad person. But they just want different things than you from what I'm picking up on. And that's okay to want different things. And Spirit wants you to know you deserve to have what you want. And Spirit's trying to gift you with what you want. So it's time to free up this connection. Unless you're okay with strings attached, listen to your body, you know? You know you best. Um, but your spirit team is coming through with this guidance today. And I feel like they really are trying to bless you with someone new and someone aligned that want, you know, you want you to get very clear on what it is you want from a relationship so they can bring that person into your life. Like make a love list. Get very honest. 
get your journal out. What do you want from a relationship? How do you want to feel? What do you want to do together? And just, oops, get as specific as possible. Okay. Spirit, what final message do you have for group number three? Starting over. Yeah, it's time to start fresh with someone new. 101. Starting over. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Excuse me. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. Yeah, don't be hard on yourself just because this isn't working out. You learn from every relationship. I think we were saying that it's how humans learn through interactions with others, through relationships. And again, you are worthy of being happy and it is possible. It is possible to have a connection where you are aligned, where you feel happy, you feel fulfilled, you feel supported, you feel seen, you feel, you know, all the things you want. So Spirit's calling you to let this person go and start over if you're not feeling right, you know, because you deserve to feel happy and supported. You don't need to settle or pretend or, you know, act like you want something else, hoping someone else will change. There is someone out there that will want the same things you do and support you and make you feel good. All right, group number three. That concludes your reading. I hope you got the messages, insight, the guidance you needed at this time. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I am available. You can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. Uh, use code ABUNDANCE in all caps. It's a special code for my YouTube friends to save 11% on your first reading. <laughs> I will leave that all in the description in case you want to check it out or pass it along to someone you think will benefit from it. Thank you so much for being here, group number three. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I wish you all the best. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!